It has to be dealt with. 343 looking to cut off this rotation here. The Void will be looking for a Chrono. He gets hit initially, slowing down. They want to finish off Roshan time. Can they get it? Yes, they will. DJ swapped the Void out of the Roshan pit. Really nice play from him, but they don't kill him initially with the time walk. He gets the Chrono off. He's dying to the Flame Guard. That's not going to be quite enough. Big one's BKB. Trying to turn and fight. He's already dealt with the Axie. They take out the Healing Ward now as well. And Arjit Omni slashes at the last second. The Sunder is there! Another Doom just a little bit too late. Arjit will go down to the Vengeful Spirit Wave of Terror. Three for nothing. And Aegis acquired by Mushi. And DJ again with the place. The, the last game with the Earth Spirit kicking. Oh, how fast can they kill him? Axe gets initiated on the four staff away. Mushi misses the chains, and here come from the west, the rest of the WG side. Can they kill Nana fast enough? Doesn't look like it. Mushi doomed up Chronosphere as well. The mech will not save his life. 343 three going down as well. Will delay the inevitable with the tricks of the trade, it looks like, but Dust follows it up, and WG turned things around. Will be a tier 2 tower attempted at mid by the Terra Blade. Just illusions for now being sent in. Oh, they're going oh, for this nah, nah. kill. Nana has Crimson Guard, but it's a lot of right click damage from a Terra Blade. They'll get the first kill. Now a we'll swap back to help save Ahio and Afu. He's melting to the Terra Blade Metamorphosis. Luckily, the time dilation will slow him down. Sunder is there on the Phoenix, who melts. Didn't go for the Super Nova, surprisingly. Jug shows up with an Omni Slice. Mid one gets saved by the Met. Nope. Battle Fury will cleave him down. DJ, next in line on the chopping block. He gets taken out. WG have been blindsided. Roche will be finished off this one. Oh, comes yes, out. Can they catch anyone here? Can they catch anyone? Where's the Void? Can the Void get in? Uh, Four star blink. They've got mid one. He's got two lives through the swap to the high ground. Can they kill this egg? The BKB from both mid one and the higher. They got the egg. That'll start things off well. Mid one still has a Sunder, but he's doomed up. He's got the Aegis instead. He's going to just fight his way through this one. He'll be respawned soon. Ahio just gonna look to Mol Nana, but he's on his own. Oh, well, Chronosphere, I guess it'll work. It catches mid one while they're still attacking, preventing him from getting off the Sunder, and it works out great. Mushi now on his own, can't get used to Searing Chains. He's been time dilated, and Fnatic lose four. Negate physical damage so well with the Axe, with the Crimson Guard, the high base armor of Axe, of Jug. Even if the Tarabe buys back now, I'm not sure they can defend. Yeah, Metamorph is already worn off, and... Brood has buyback with Terra Blade, but it looks like this could be a potential game three coming our way. One melee racks at mid, and they swing bottom now for the T3 tower. Mushi cannot buy back. He bought a Lincoln's recipe. Not a very useful item to have sitting in your stash. Oh my God! Did he actually do that? Can confirm. Oh no! Why would you not have buyback and have the recipe? Wouldn't even have to think about it, you know. It's like in my instincts, my guts. Void, time walking forward. This is it for Fnatic as far as game two is concerned. They've got to find a way to hold the swap back into the smoke. Nicely played, but the force up is there. Axe, he is a team player, it turns out. He gets the jug back to safety. The Chronovir is there with the supernova. They can't deal with the egg. Time walk away from Wendell healing back up, but the Doom is down, and without a Doom, Terrorblade may just go unleashed here. Mid one on the front line, such as BKB. Looking to chase through. They've taken out Phoenix as well, and Fnatic, they're holding their high ground. The swap enforcing this fight. Led WG to go in too deep. Ahio gets oh! dumped, but not before oh, Nana oh gets God. taken out. Mid one gets a triple kill, much to my predictions. Uh, they satisfaction. Lost, they lost two range racks though, so that was still okay for WG. Split push a clock again. We've seen this from Fnatic before. They push, but this time around they're going to get forced into high ground defense. One melee racks is all that stands between them and Mechreep. Nana goes for the blink call, catches three four three. Has got the tricks to trade, gets swapped back, DJ with a mech as well, where's the Doom? It's come out already onto mid one. He's got an Aegis though, he's gonna turn and fight, he's gonna go right in on Wen, but Wen gets out of there and with a supernova pop, Fnatic may just look to re-engage after this one, the Chronosphere controls! Both Ohio and mid one, mid one goes down to the Aegis form. Still has Metamorphosis, but the dunk on the Brute could spell the end for Fnatic, they need mid one to fight his way through, but the Metamorphosis it's worn off, he can't get the Sunder off just yet, he's trying to find a good target for it. There we go, onto the axe he goes, but mid one getting low, he's getting fought through, he goes down. Where's that buyback? It is available, but the axe is just tearing them apart. Triple kill for Nana, Mega Creeps have been claimed, Mushi will get one last kill on the Phoenix, but with Mega Creeps picked up, Fnatic. Inferred. Oh, he, he missed the chains. Yep. Another Fire Remnant. 
Scout with oh, what? Okay, Mr. Cyphus. So, I mean, yes. they can defend for some time with the Ember. Rapier. Yes, Rapier. Ember. Yep. Got to do it. There we go. I mean, there's there's no no real question asked. What is realistically Fnatic's chances? Down Mega Creeps. Maybe twenty to thirty percent chance, I would say. Twenty to thirty. Right? That's continuing up against Mega Creeps. That's not bad, DJ. Had a Doom walk in. They had the gem. They get the swap. Arthur. He's found him. No Doom for you. Drops a gem as well on the north side. It's going to be a high with the BKB. The egg comes out. Will they focus it? It looks like the plan is to do oh, so. But the Chrono on everyone with the Omni Slash. WG Unity clean up until Mushi says hello. First fight of Fist does a lot of damage. He's cleaving through the Mushi with the Rapier. Mushi, Mushi, Mushi. Destroys WG Unity. Double kill for him. Fnatic mid one is dominating, and it looked so good for Unity with that Chronosphere, but then Mushi rocks up and just tore them apart. Yeah, but I remember. He was the game I remember. Yeah. My favorite Mega Creeps comeback was, I think, the, the Vici Secret one, where it was like Mega Creeps for 30 minutes, and they just like kept playing against Mega Creeps for 30 minutes, and then they finally turned it around. At, uh, I think it was DAC. Oh. Rex is gonna go, go down. One side of yeah. Rex, two side of Rex. Multiple sides of Rex. Jug still dead for 25 seconds, and I don't think WG really want to fight with them. They need to get a good Doom off. Mid one seems to be the target. Afu stop into Doom. Max comes in as well. Can they bring down mid one? Where is the save? Venge is nowhere to be seen, and that's a dead Terra Blade. Oh, uh, is getting the Rex at bottom. Mega Creeps Can versus Mega Creeps. Parker. Can he get this? Oh, he the <gasps> when? How can you do this to us? Say WG Unite uh, <laughs> Unity. Uh, oh well, no! More disappointing than the English football team. When's Chronosphere puts WG Unity in a terrible position, missing a potential rapier steal. It's still not over for them though. The chase oh. is on. DJ is low. He'll lose a gem if he goes down. He tries to go Scepter up, but the Blade Fury will finish him off. And oh, Mushi's gonna get Mushi's the rest. back. Bash! 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 When he's trying to make up for his sins, but oh. Mushi's gone. Megas versus Megas, and Mushi's already sending the curry out. I can only imagine to buy another rapier, possibly just one to have sitting in his stash for his buyback, so you can have a backup rapier. Oh no. What? It's like, it's almost like WG Unity are going all in to try and turn this game Parker. around. Remember I said 40 last time, now it's 50-50. 50-50? Even with Megas? For Fnatic, you don't think it's more than 50? I mean, anyone will lose if you make a mistake. Yeah. I mean, Terrorblade has no uh, buyback access as well. Uh, has no, that in A lot of micro, no. That's not Mushi. Yeah, He's not going to do not, that. Not his style. Too much okay. micro. Too much yeah, micro. Just, just kidding. We're, we're not going to see that from Mushi. Does what he can to clear things oh, out. Swap what? back on Afu. You talked about mistakes. That's possibly one DJ gets doomed. He dives into the Chrono. No oh. egg and he's being hit by the Brood. Oh no. oh no. Where's the second Chrono? He doesn't even get it off. They're going to lose the Void as well. And Fnatic are going to oh, team wipe no. WG Unity. The Aegis is not going to amount to match. Aegis oh. says goodbye to his Aegis. <laughs> As well as his second life, Nana has bought back, but I think it's going to be amounting to nada. As Nana, we're going to have to start singing that very song. Because this is goodbye for WG Unity from the winner bracket. They still have a shot in the lower bracket, but... Then there's this game. And then we got a potential BO5 later today between these teams. If WG Unity, or whoever loses this BO3 makes it through Execration, and right now Fnatic, they're going for the throne, there's still no Void for 15, Doom goes in, but he takes a huge slide of fist, and he's instantly deleted from the fight, Ahayu is starting to do some good damage here, Nana's tanky, but not tanky enough for that slide of fist, Mushi says hello with his Daedalus Rapiers, and WG Unity have been bested here, it is a big win for Fnatic, and those guys will be going to Seattle, guaranteed, at least Bare minimum to play in the wildcard tournament, potentially to play in the main event, should they win a best of five later on today. So they're going to be in the grand finals. WGD will be taking on Execration for a spot in Seattle.